Hello, welcome to game number 32 of SNES and Access. Uh, this is Family Feud. This is the game where our families are uh, killing another family with guns live on television. Let's do it. Maybe Bullseye Round is fast money in this, so um, we're just going to do it. Oh, my name. We are the Tanja family. Ah, I'm back. Did I make my family look different? Doesn't seem like I can. Uh, we are not return champs. Romeo? Name something that teenage siblings often fight about. Um... Chores. Really? What? Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to say fries. <laughs> Name and occupation in which you wear gloves. A uh, surgeon. Hey. Name something you tuck in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the answer is shirt, but uh, I'm thinking of something else. Bullseye around. Bullseye. Name something that's less crowded when it rains. Uh, the the park. Okay, cool. There's something a family does together. They eat. <laughs> Sleep. No. Yeah. I know the nuclear family of 1991. Totally will play for in the fast money round. And they only get to play for 5,000. What a bunch of idiots. I can get $19,000. They should just let me win, I'll give them $5,000. A hundred people survey the top eight answers around the board. You have a place where you really enjoy reading. Bed. Yeah. Alright, we're definitely going to play. We're always going to play. Alright. place where you really enjoy reading. You want to say bathroom? Toilet. Okay. <laughs> Give me some more answers, chat. It's easier to do it now that we're on one long question instead of during the bullseye round where it was fast paced. Um, I'm going to say uh, living room, I guess. Park? I thought about park. I was thinking outside somewhere. Okay. We'll try park. Mm. Maybe porch. I mean, libraries. Not a bad answer either. I almost that was almost my original answer was library. Jeez, five more to go, huh? <sighs> I'm going to try porch. Beach. Oh, my God, it's beach. Mmm, beach.
Dan, Dan? Oh, bite me. Come on. Bathtub, Ch chair? Hold on, stop, chair? It's not a place. I guess bed isn't a place, but like, it's more of a place than chair. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Chair. And also chair and sofa. Come on. Come on. Don't clap. No, no, you don't deserve that, Romeos. Sorry, the top six answers on the board. Here we go. Name something that you would see around a fireplace. Poker? Ah, uh, beans. I don't have to watch them play. Fire? Uh, fire screen. This is why the Capulets didn't like the Romeos. Um, pass. Pass it, guys. Pass it to me. Pass it. Yes. Alright, what do we see about a around a fireplace? I'm making a rug. Christ almighty. Okay. Wood. Yeah. Is there going to be some really dumb name for it, though? Because, like, I would have accepted living room for Den, by the way. Firewood. Got it. Cool. So now when they eventually steal it back, I'll just get, you know, give them more points. Um... Stockings? We're talking like Christmas? Chair. Okay. <laughs> Sofa. <laughs> Chair, sure. <laughs> Three separate answers for furniture. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna put... Uh, what, was my, what was my other answer? I just said stockings, right? I'm gonna put stockings. <laughs> Chair. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Okay, cool. I hope the Romeos get it. I hope they steal with one correct answer. Man. What? Fireplace tools? Fireplace tools? And irons? What? I am so mad at Family Feud. <laughs> Mantle is not a thing that would be around a fireplace. <laughs> That's so stupid. And matches? You're gonna use matches on your phone? Okay, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those hands of family are looking upset. <laughs> I like Beardo Tantra. And anti-irons is in fireplace tools, exactly. Oh yeah, we're about to get a fast menu. This is great. I'm really happy. Alright, here we go. We're, we're gonna buzz in right away. Name something that has roots. Uh, hair. Could be tree. Oh shit. Plant. Is it plant? Oh, it's one higher. Cool. If we have to watch them play, I'm gonna go fucking bonkers. Oh, thank God. All right, we're gonna do a tree. All right. I'm gonna need eighty. Now six answers. Family is a good answer. I was thinking like familial roots, right? Teeth? When I say good answer, that means it's a bad answer, I think. Okay, we'll try teeth. Hold on, let's use this time to think while we're... I don't need, I don't need to buzz through this. 
Um, things with roots. I mean, like, I keep thinking of the mini series, but that's nothing. Um, like, potatoes, right? That's a plant, though, isn't it? Um, evil? The root of all evil? Um, okay, we're gonna send. I don't know. Hey! Didn't matter. Alright, cool. Good job, Ambie. Ambie and David taking this home. Get us that 291 that we need. Oh, yeah. No, we're not happy. We're not happier about them. We don't want them to get it. Alright, I'm going to be able to survey the top four answers on the board. What is the one thing you own that causes you the most aggravation? Uh, pet. Number one is car. Fuck. I may have just been thinking of my own experience. Uh, TV is a good answer. House is a good answer. We're going to do car and house. Uh, we're definitely playing. <laughs> jackal. <laughs> my jackal. I really don't like my jackal. It's very upsetting to me. All right. What is the one thing that you want to cause you the most aggravation? Jackal. <laughs> it's my jackal. You know, I inherited it from from my parents, and now I just got to take care of this jackal. I don't like it. Uh-oh. One thing you want to cause you the most aggravation? Children. Hmm. Skeleton. Jackal. Um, you know what? 1990, right? Okay. Worth a shot. I don't think you own kids, guys. I'm pretty sure you don't own own children. I, I think you don't. I'm 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 one, like in definitely not slaves. Trophy bear. Damn it. Kids. Kids is a bad answer. I I, I might do it because I don't know that I can think of anything else. I mean like to toilet, air conditioning, um, like. All this is owning a house stuff, right? Your mistakes, the things that I own. Kids, here we go. <laughs> you don't own your kids, you monsters. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna get it too. What? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so spe <laughs> so specific. I don't own a house, but my lawnmower is really upsetting. <laughs> I hate my lawnmower so much. <laughs> really? That's a good answer. Really? Lawnmower? Sorry, you have lost. Better luck next time. Beardo looks so upset. I'm, I'm, I really... This is all I have. This is the only way I could ever get money. Alright, so we're going to have to try again. And you know, I thought if we'd gotten it on this first round, I was just going to like play Jeopardy or something afterward. I, you, you don't think I'm... We're not watching this. Are you kidding? <laughs> Hold on, no. We're resetting this. I'm not watching them do this. <laughs> That's the ultimate punishment to watch the computer play the final round. <laughs> they make you watch the computer. No, you, no, I'm not watching. You can't make me watch. I'm not doing that. Alright. 
we're bringing it back then. And they can't win my money. I could have won 19,000. They can only won five. If they had just let me win, I would have given them $5,000 and taken my 14 grand home. The NES, SNES kill switch eliminates the reset option. We <laughs> must watch. Okay. If we lose again, the humble family. Oh. They don't like to brag. Uh, a copier? Don't tell me, like, stapler. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. A pencil sharpener. Every single office. Okay. Name something you do at a mirror. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> right? Stare longingly. Okay. Come here. Got it. <laughs> Jackal. Yes. Hey! I think Ray Combs just liked it because we said comb. Name something that is sealed. Um, a package? Is that too generic? A court order. A adoption papers. <laughs> An okay, envelope, sure. Envelope is, envelope is a better word for that. Envelope is most assuredly the right answer. Really? Did I spell it wrong? Wash your safe potato chips and get it. Bullseye. Ambi, you uh, predicted this one. Watch them say chips and get it. It's chocolate, though. Chocolate's a good answer. Yeah. Envelope didn't count, but mail did. Bullseye. What is this fucking game? Luckily, Bullseye doesn't matter. <laughs> Oops. Uh, eggs. Ah, jeez. Well, I tried. This is you use that comes with three or four <laughs> Okay. They're only playing for 7,000. The bullseye round is so dumb. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. I buzzed in a little early there. All right, let's murder these guys. Why? Look at the girl on the right clapping. What is? What are? What are any of their clapping animations? How are their arms not destroyed? Name a phrase that has the word Easter in it. This was made in the 1890s, right? From the music, it might have been Easter Sunday. Yeah, we just had the uh, bullseye around, that, which um, in the 90s version decided how much money you played for. Easter Island. Easter Bonnet? Is that a thing? Look at this garbage. Oh, hey! Alright. I like Island. I like Bunny. Easter Massacre. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let's do, uh... <laughs> Let's do Bunny. And then Island.
Damn it. Uh, they weren't being sarcastic that time. Nice. Yeah, I remember the the Saint Easter's Times Massacre. It was wonderful. Easter. Watch this not be on there. Easter Parade? I'm gonna go Easter Basket. Did any of you guys say basket? The chat moved pretty fast there. As you guys were shouting clip out. Okay. Easter egg. When was Easter Parade written? Is it an old song? Is it from a musical Ambi? Is it from a really weird esoteric musical? Okay, it's a Judy Garland film. All right, that could be in here. I'm gonna do Easter Parade. Hey, do you, should I say Easter Bonnet? Oh boy. Nice job, kids. Sure, let's do it. Holy crap! This is an insane category, by the way. There's three more things to get. Um, let's see what else has been said. Easter dinner. Easter dinner. Easter dinner is good. Suck my dick, you doubters. <laughs> All right, Ambie. <laughs> oh, really? Easter turkey? That's not a thing. He wanted to say like a nor'easter. Uh, Easter chocolate? Easter candy? Yeah, Nikki's going to have to ban you now. Even though I think you're also you're also a mod. Easter ham? Are there meats specific to Easter? Easter Easter mass sounds good or sermon. Oof, oofa doofa. I mean, ham is good. Honestly, I agree because ham's delicious. But like. If they steal it. Okay, first. <sighs> All right. Easter lily and Easter seal. Easter seal? Yeah, that's the meat I eat at my Easter dinner. Um, so, Easter egg hunt, first of all, not a fair answer. Second of all, I was literally thinking it. Um, I know you don't believe me, but I definitely was. Uh, but I was like, no, they wouldn't have Easter egg hunt because I said Easter egg. But no, they were <laughs> Easter seals. Is it is that really a nonprofit organization, or are the Easter seals a specific branch of the Marines? The Easter seals they only go in one day a year. All right, new category. Name a specific luxury item that you own more than one of. Car. All right. <sighs> Please don't make us watch them play this game. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, it's a luxury item that we own more than one of. A watch. Watch is a good answer.
Okay, TV car, watch. Um, a necklace. If a necklace is on there, maybe something like ring, then? We might think Easter egg hunt. Fuck. <laughs> Lawn mower. <laughs> a boat. You think people own more than, more than one boat? Um. Shit. Is boat good? <laughs> DeVos yacht. <laughs> How many of those can I send out to sea? Should I boat? Fuck me. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go with ring, I get no. A specific luxury item. It's gotta be specific. What about a house? Is that crazy? A grill? Yeah, houses maybe? We have a house in the Hamptons. Yes. Fuck it. Oh my god. I'm making a jerk off motion. They can't see it. A vacuum cleaner, yes, the most luxury item there is. Oh my god, if they say, oh my fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm unhappy there's not a family feud too on Super Nintendo because this is the funniest game we've played so far. Um, Alright, here we go. How is, a how is a watch a luxury item compared to... A how is a VCR a luxury item? Even in 91. It's not a luxury item. Everyone owned a fucking VCR. It's ridiculous. They don't look so humble. Four answers. All right, we can do this. This is triple. Let's make that come back. Here's the hops. Frog. Not number one. Bunny, I guess, right? Oh shit. We're crotch shopping. Suck it. You still own a VCR, Josh? Congratulations. You probably actually have one in the basement. Alright. Rabbit for sure. Do you think that this game is pedantic enough to have Rabbit and Bunny as separate answers? Kangaroo is a very good answer. We're gonna do that first. All right, rabbit, frog, kangaroo, something with hops. Humans, a beat. A beat. Wait, what? We're gonna do grasshopper, by the way. Cricket is a good answer, too. But I win! Ha <laughs> ha! The genius, Matt! <laughs> Thank you guys for being my family here today. Oh, beer, beer. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be something with hops, not something that hops. All right, we still gotta get 300 um, or 400 to make it. So it's all down to this. <laughs> all right, top four, I like that. Best present, name your favorite science fiction TV show. <clears throat> I'm gonna go Star Trek. It's not my favorite, but I think that's what would be on here. We are all the Sansra family tonight. Yeah, okay. I don't think Doctor Who's gonna be on here. They're surveying Americans in 1991. 
I think we're gonna see like Lost in Space, Battlestar Galactica. Oh no, I didn't doubt that Star Trek was the correct answer. I just, you know, Star Trek is just not my favorite science fiction TV show. I'm not a bit. I'm not big into Star Trek. I uh, I like the movies, like the reboot movies, and that's about it. Cool. Quantum Leap is a good answer. Um, does this Mork and Mindy count? What about the Twilight Zone? All right, Twilight Zone or Quantum Leap? What are you thinking? is a good answer to I think of like cultural phenomenons you know shit okay and does Twilight Zone even count as science fiction I kind of want to say Battlestar nailed it Battle Center. I hope I'm spelling this right. Night Rider? Real I don't know. I think it's Night Rider sci fi per se. Oh boy, I'm gonna try Twilight Zone. We could lose this again here at the end. That would be kind of a bummer, but... <laughs> and here I was looking for a game I could beat before midnight, and, uh... Womp womp. Okay, cool. Hmm. One more. I'm looking for aliens. Robots. Um... Small wonder. Alf? Why not? Mork and Mindy? Um, Alien is a movie. Oh my god. Reality? <laughs> Maybe in 2018. I wouldn't count Mork and Mindy as a sci-fi show. But I just, I don't have anything else. Shit, we're out of time. Yeah, Doctor Who is actually probably a good guess at this point. Fuck. I really don't think Doctor Who would be on here. But, you know, it's the lowest answer. Oh, hey! I think we won! X-Files would not have been on the air by the time this game came out. Ah, yes, of course, Time Tunnel. Ah, the, the classic, the classic time tunnel. I remember sitting down around the, around the, the mantle that was around my fireplace, um, sitting in my chair and watching time tunnel with my family. I just, <laughs> what is time tunnel? Hold on, I'm going to Google time tunnel before we move on. I know we're artificially adding time to artificially adding time to this game, but uh, the Time Tunnel is a show from 1967. When conducting an experiment in time travel, scientists Dr. Tony Newman and Dr. Douglas Phillips find themselves whisked from time period to time. It's Doctor Who. It's, fuck, it's fucking Doctor Who. All right. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, humbles. I don't give a shit about you guys. All right, I play Fast Money. Here we go. I'll probably have to do the first round by myself since it's gonna be so fast, but you guys think of answers for the second go around. Them country in Europe, France. 
No, you rent for parties. Uh, clown. You have something with the flu. Fever. Something associated with the game of billiards. Um, a Q. Name an annual people animal people dress up as for Halloween parties. Cat. Oops. Survey says number one answer. Thanks. Says, really? Okay. Survey says number one answer. Survey says number one answer. Survey says number one answer. All right. One sixty nine. Nice. All right. So. Ambie's got five answers at the ready. You guys say anything else? Um, we're cheating here by taking time to think about it. But a country in Europe, Spain. Um, you rent a tent for a party? I guess. I was thinking DJ, maybe. I don't know if that would be a thing here. Um, I, mean, I guess you would you could rent a tent for a party. <laughs> rent an elephant. <laughs> Runny nose, eight ball, bunny, headache. I was thinking magician was my thought, Josh. Um, but I also said clown, and that was foolish. Ooh, horse for the animal. All right, here we go. We're gonna do Spain. I kind of know what answers I like here. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do tent. I'm gonna trust you. Uh, something with the flu. I'm gonna go with runny nose. Uh, and then pool Q We had eight ball. And I kind of like horse. Survey says. Uh oh. Survey says. <laughs> uh oh. Survey says. Uh oh. Survey says. Oh my god. <laughs> Survey says. Oh no. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> We lost, guys. TLJ VMP. All right. Yeah, let's continue. All right, name a kind of door. Screen. I'm going to type out door because they're crazy. I wish they would have told me what the number one answer for that fucking party question was. They're not making a distinction between billiards and pool because I had Q and uh, that, got, that was the number one answer. Tra <laughs> trap? <laughs> At the humble family house, we have a trap door. Name something you can find on the table at a restaurant. Salt. Ugh. Menu. I thought about menu. Food is a good answer. Food is a very good answer. <laughs> Tell me something you've been afraid to ask for fear of rejection. <laughs> this is a deep fucking question, Ray. Um. Let's see. How do I word this? Um. For a raise. Sex. <laughs> I'm going to type it like this. I don't know if it's going to come out. All right, cool. Awesome. When you bite into a chocolate, which feeling do you hope for? I mean, I'm going to answer for me. I don't know about anybody else, but the answer is caramel. 
Peanut butter is probably... Okay, good. I win. Not a, if you said anything other than caramel, you're wrong. When you're not poison. Um, mother. <laughs> okay, it's best friend. But I just want to see what mother will be. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you tell when you have problems with your spouse? I give up. I just don't tell anybody. I sit there and I sulk. I let the I let the hatred wash over me. All right. There's something you eat by the slice. I mean, it's, it's pizza and cake and pie. All right, cake is number one. Please something, say something real, damn it. I wanted them to say something really low here so we wouldn't have to guess it when we inevitably get to play. Oh shit, pie is number one. Yeah, we're gonna play. What else do we eat by the slice, guys? Bread? Whoa! Orange, ham, all good answers, I'm liking them. I don't know what number one is. Ham turkey, maybe. Um, apple is a good answer, too. No ham. God, this fucking music. <laughs> Bread is such a dumb fucking answer. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Fuck you. How did more people say bread than pizza? In, in 1991, that was turtle time. Uh, I'm gonna go turkey. They had a chance to steal. Let's see. I mean, they gave up a second ago. Hey, they gave up again. We win. Cheat. Ah, uh, cheese. Oh, those are all pretty good answers that I that we missed. I'm not. I'm not upset about those answers. Cold cuts. I, Honestly, I think you should have accepted ham or turkey for cold cuts, but, um, you know, you do you. Melon. Melon, I get. Um, yeah. Good answers. All right, we win. Cold cuts includes ham and turkey. I agree. I agree. <laughs> sometimes they want us to be specific, and sometimes they want us to not do that at all. Name something that might have powdered sugar on it. A donut? Oh god, please don't... Please accept the spelling. Thank god. I didn't want them to be one of those people that spelled it D-O-G... D-O... You know. You know what I'm saying. Um, I'm gonna say a pancake. Um, what are some other things? Let's brainstorm. I was thinking maybe, uh, funnel cake? What else? Cake in general? That's a possibility. Cocaine? <laughs> Nikki, you've been a bit of a big help tonight. <laughs> Ooh, a crepe. Okay, pancake counted as cake. I'm really happy for that. Um, no, no, no. I like your jokes. Your jokes are very good. <laughs> uh, 
Farts. Um... Powder sugar on a pretzel? David, I know you eat some weird shit, but like... This is a little out there even for you. Your mom used to put powdered sugar... Powdered sugar on oranges? Powdered sugar on ice cream? None of this is right. All of this is bad food practices. This is food crime. God, I'm gonna say oranges because fuck it. Because I really want that to be on here because I want that to be in America. Oh yeah, funnel cake, right? I did say that. I'm, I'm gonna assume that's probably... I'm not gonna have time now. Funnel cake's on there, we got another chance of doing oranges. Okay, never mind. We'll never know. Watch it be fucking oranges. <laughs> Cookie. Like, I guess, bro. <laughs> okay. No, you don't put powdered sugar on brownies, it's gross. But French toast, I guess. Yeah, French toast is a good answer. Um, oh, why'd your mom put powdered sugar on oranges? What's wrong with her? You put sugar on grapefruit, but not powdered sugar on oranges. All right. Tanger family, hold it together. Did you eat the oranges with the powdered sugar? You know, traditions are not always meant to be observed. <laughs> Syrup on an orange? Name a fruit that's hard to eat neatly. The answer is orange. <laughs> uh, it's actually, I'm actually going to do watermelon. But I think orange is on here. But I think watermelon is the one. Now we're gonna do orange. David, it's 1991. Do you think people considered tomatoes fruits at the time? Pineapple's a legit choice. Um, Fuck off. <laughs> Turian. I told you to eat some weird shit. Um, I'm gonna go tomato. Oh, come on. <sighs> I'm gonna say grapefruit. Is a peach hard to eat? Mealy? I don't really think so. I, I mean, actually, you're right. They kind of, they kind of like juice in your hands and mouth, don't they? It's been a long time since I've eaten a straight peach. Yeah, good answer. Excellent job, David. Like I like peaches too. Um, I had peaches like two days ago. But they were uh, pre-cut school lunch peaches. That good shit. Oh, we won! We're in fast, fast money. Let's do it. Can't believe this game is gonna take an hour when it could have taken ten minutes. <laughs> All right. All right. Same deal as last time. I'll do the first one, and then you guys help me with the second round. Be my family. 
They're kind of squash. Um, I'm gonna say yellow. Shit. They, they found my weakness, which is gourds. Tell me how many sit-ups you can do. Ten. Oh, you need, you need a number. Got it. Name a fruit you can buy fresh year-round. Apple. Should have said oranges, huh? Name a food that's easy to burn. Ham? Say turkey. Name a place where meals are served on trays. Uh, school. Jail. <laughs> Prison. School. Survey says. Survey says. Number one answer. Yep. Survey says. Number one answer. I'm not shocked. Survey says. Bummer. Survey says. Okay. Um. Toast is toast is the burn dancer for sure. Um, one hundred percent. Uh, butternut, I think, is a good squash answer. Um, go for 20 sit-ups. The third question was a fresh all-year fruit. I think banana is probably a good choice. I'm going to go with plain for the last one. So let's do, uh, let's do butternut. It's a fun word to type. Butternut. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, 20. <laughs> uh, banana. Uh, toast. God, toast is like, that's the number one answer for sure. Um, and then, uh, plane. Plane or jail. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. Survey says. Ooh. Survey says. We're in trouble, by the way. Survey says. Survey says. Number one answer. Survey oh, we says. lose. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. What was the answer for the tray question? Jail? Okay. I bet it was like just cafeteria. I bet it was just cafeteria. This is a hell. This is. <laughs> this one should be done by 12. Um. Um. Okay. Well. It buzzed in too fast again. So I'm gonna say veil. Nailed it. Ow. Yeah, I was always giving her extra veils. Night, David. You've been, you've been a big help, though. <laughs> Name something specific you might hide. A key. Fuck me running. All right. Okay, money, of course. Eggs. <laughs> okay, Nikki, you are right. Don't don't rub it in. Be humble. Uh, Carter. Really? Okay. No one. <laughs> no presidents are good. Thank you. Goodbye. I mean, nowhere? Right, I'm going to say grocery store. Yeah, I guess Lincoln, right? Roosevelt. Hoover, right? Herbert Hoover? Alright, cool. Bank. Ah, yes, of course, at the train. At the train station. We all have train stations. Alright, both teams playing for $5,000. <laughs>
Name of I know Hoover was the shitty one. That was a joke. Any place where you see many people reading? Uh, a library? Hey! <laughs> yeah, all those people were reading at the train station. <laughs> Humble family back for one more jam. <sighs> Swimming. There's so many answers on here. All right. Do you think we should pass? That's not fun. They're relaxing for recreation. Napping. Was yoga a thing in America in 91? Reading, right? I'm gonna guess watching TV, so that seems to be a big thing with um, the people they're surveying. I tried napping and it didn't let me. Uh, swimming was the number one answer and I already put that. Alright. Hmm. Push ups. Yes, listen to my gramophone. Probably go for, maybe go for a drive. See a see a movie. Question. All right, humbles, do something. Win your forty points. I hope you choke on it. Fist fighting. Oh, fish fishing. Okay. Boating. Golfing. Sunbathing. Bowling. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, um, did they survey 100 old white dudes? Because, like, for real. Boating all the time. No one goes boating. That's usually done when a person gets a makeover. A haircut. Okay, what else? Okay. New clothes. Uh, 
Okay, we'll say nails. Oh, okay. It's gonna be one of those games, huh? Manicure is nails. Christ. But <laughs> new nose for a makeover? Facelift for a makeover? That's not a makeover, guys. That's serious plastic surgery. <sighs> Makeup. Triple. Uh, alcohol? All right. They know we suck, so they're just going to continuously pass it off to us. Holy sh... Oh, no. <laughs> no, an Orly car does have a driver. It's just that it's you, right? Um, a partition? Okay. I was thinking sunroof. This game is testing my logic and patience. <laughs> Agreed. I'm going to say driver. I'm going to say driver. I don't even know. I don't even know. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to double hell. Go to every hell. What? Bar and chauffeur. Alcohol and driver. No good. Bar and chauffeur. Oh yeah, no, we fucking lost. Oh no, we're beating this game, Snape. Uh-huh, now your family put the best money around. Mm-hmm. At 1 a.m. I'm, I'm gonna pause. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I'm not watching them do this. Are you kidding me? I blame game tech for everything. <laughs> Reload that RNG, exactly. All right. David isn't even, isn't even here anymore for this joke because it took for fucking ever. 
Asshole. Alimony. Albacore. Albert. There's something men or women wear in public that's not comfortable. A bra? Okay. Sorry. I don't wear bras, but they look uncomfortable. Shoes was the correct answer. There's nothing you love to sit on when you were <laughs> chair. <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs> Someone's lap. That's what you're. Gonna, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do someone. Someone s lap. Okay, cool. Neat. Um, name something you set. A table. Come on. A clock. I should turn the bullseye around off. D. Uh oh. Daredevil. Doug Dibidome. Owner of the Dimsdale Dibidome. <laughs> Dan Dare. They, they, they do old. Oh, fuck, that looks right. pretty good. That lady writes a really good answer. That's correct, probably. Donald! Oh my god, no, Donald Duck is correct! Oh, that was so stupid, we're all dumb! The DD stands for Dumb Dumbs, which we are! It's not something you do to keep alert when you're working late. Grant Coffee! <laughs> dumb Dumb Dugan, yes. Cocaine. <laughs> That's your answer to everything, Mickey. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Garfield. <laughs> Snoopy. Yeah, Avi. All right, here we go. Scooby Doo. Pluto's a good answer. Goofy's also a good answer. Is Goofy canonically a dog at this point? Ooh, Marmaduke. I'm gonna do Pluto. Underdog, yep. Droopy. Huckleberry Hound. I'll do Goofy. I'm afraid that's gonna get next though. Okay, cool, awesome, I'm glad. Um. Do underdog. That's droopy. Droopy talk slow. Really, no underdog. Crypto is a good answer. Rent and ten is a good answer. Huh. Oh, wait. Uh, let's do crypto. Marmaduke. Um, 
Marmaduke. Shit, it's Marmaduke. That was stupid. Really? For some reason, I thought we were too early for Odie. I guess I'm wrong. Daisy, Sandy, and La Lassie was real. Come on. I don't know who Daisy and Sandy were, but Lassie was real. You can't do that. You can't. It's not a... Don't take away her story. You're... Come on. Lassie was a live-action television show. <laughs> Wedding, funeral, mass. Those are the three I have. <laughs> Baptism? Funeral is not there, huh? All right. A bris. <laughs> uh, cool, neat. I cannot, I honestly can't believe funeral wasn't there. Um, I'm pretty flabbergasted. <laughs> um, do communion. All right, cool. Templar meeting. Catechism. Ah, yes, Easter. It's not a it's not a good answer. Sunday services. Well, of course, the Sunday services, not fucking mass. All right, sure. Steve Harvey would have taken it. I bet I bet Steve I bet Louie Anderson would have taken it too. Fucking Tim Allen's tool friend probably would have taken it. Coconut. Pumpkin? No. What? I don't know what the answers are here. Pineapple? Yeah, I'm gonna put up my big... Put my pineapples everywhere. Sure. I'm going to say pumpkin. <laughs> Watermelon? What is any of this? Okay. I'll say watermelon. I don't think that's it. You're gonna haul out a watermelon and use it as a decoration? What is any of this? What world am I living in? What? Why? What? I don't. What? I don't understand. Um, what's on another fucking hard fruit? Uh, we'll say a, a kiwi. Uh, sure, kiwi. 
Oh, there's kiwis around my house. It's not even that hard. <laughs> um, mango and uh... this is this is a dumbass question. <laughs> um, I mean, I was thinking gourds, right? I got gore. Oh my fucking god, I put gore. My thumb slipped. <sighs> okay. Squash. Papaya. This is fucking bonkers. Man, understand. I understand, guys. <laughs> I almost said that. Four people, four people out of a hundred hollow out oranges and put them around their house. Okay, this is fine. Nineteen ninety one was a crazy fucking year. A baby. All right. We're going to play, but uh, we got to think. Blankets. We're going to have four good answers. Should we pass and see what happens? Do you want to pass? Do you just want to do you want to leave it in the hands of fate? Let's do it. Let's do let's do pass. God, you guys have answers though. Shit. Three, two, if no one says pass. Alright, let's do it. Bundle of woe? <laughs> Ah, yes. Firewood. Um, we would have lost this. Fuck off. So, so, the correct answers that we didn't have were newspapers, yourself, and dirty laundry. None of which any of us really said. Um, yourself was one I was possibly thinking of, but I thought it was too dumb. Um, so we lose. Again. We lose again. All right, once more into the breach, old friends. I'm gonna turn off <laughs> Bullseye. No. All right. Tanger's gonna win, I swear to God. All right. Oh, is it them again? Okay. Yeah, I'll kick him to the curb. Let's go. Whew. 
Whew. That's what Texas is famous for. Uh, cowboys? I was thinking barbecue, yeah. Racism. <laughs> Salsa. Okay. Let's go with, um, barbecue. You want me to spell it out? <sighs> Oil. Okay. Salsa hats. Let's go with boots. I like boots. Hey. That's also made in New York City. New York City. Do you think that the Dallas Cowboys is different from Cowboys? <laughs> oh, the yellow, of course. How could we forget? <laughs> Dallas, like the show. I'm in. Toast. of Texas. Would have never thought of that. I've heard of it. Would have never thought of that. This is, neither would 98 people. Ah, yes. Famous Texas chili. Not a thing Texas is known for that I, I'm aware of, but okay. Sure. Someone data mine this game real quick and get all the answers. Name a bad occupation for a person who's afraid of heights. A window washer. A window washer. play pilot is good yeah
Um, construction worker. I don't want answers now. Don't look at answers, that's no fun. Okay. Um, I don't know about firefighter, that seems a little iffy. Like a handyman? Someone has to climb up on roofs? I guess like roofer, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Let's say firefighter. I got nothing else. Painter. Sure. That makes sense. Flying Nun. World's tallest building measurer. Parachute man. <laughs> Skydiver an occupation, though? Was that even really a thing in 1991? Um... Pardon me. I'll try it. I really don't have anything else. You guys don't know. Yeah, exactly. Give up. Go home and be a family man. <laughs> Telephone pole person. <laughs> okay. Alright. That's a legitimate answer. I'm okay with that. Tandra's looking very upset. Alright, top four, I like it. We'll do when they're stuck in a traffic jam. Uh, listen to the radio. Cry. <laughs> they said a person, not you specifically, and me. Okay. Read. Um, honk your horn, yeah, heck yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna say hog horn specifically. I can't believe that Reed is on there. <laughs> That's amazing. That's number one. Um, <laughs> pull out a gun. Get angry. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. All right. Go home, Albert. I want no part of you. Leave. Leave our presence. All right. One last chance for fast money. This is the run. Let's do it. When the hour of New Year's Eve party begins. Uh, seven? Anything like spaghetti sauce. Um, meat. No, no safe states. It only looks slippery. Uh, a fish. color of tennis balls. Green. Then a teacher bar for their parents. Car. Money. Survey says. Bummer. Survey says. Number one answer. Survey says. Survey says. Eel? Is fish? Survey says. Number one answer. All right, um, so I'm going to say yellow for the tennis ball. Garlic is good for the sauce. Do you think maybe pasta? I know, right? Um, do you think... Maybe other tomatoes. What about oregano? Nine for the New Year's Eve. Yeah. Um, Nine, 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 nine and eight are both good. That's a, that's a really weird question, right? So let's do nine. I'm gonna do oregano and nine. So nine oregano. Uh, what's our animal? Shit, what's our animal? I didn't even think about this one. Uh, a seal. <laughs> uh, yellow. And, uh, money. An otter? <laughs> I suppose you're not wrong. I think we might have this. Survey says, number one answer. Oh, shit. Survey says, time. Survey says, number one answer. Survey says, hot damn. That was real good. It's a real good one, team. Whew. All right, roll the credits. Roll the credits. And you know what? I think we're just going to retire with $5,000. Um, we're not going to come back for the Tournament of Champions. We're not going <laughs> to. We're, we're all good. 
No, we're good. All right, uh, that's it for Family Feud. Huh, that was a good time though. An hour and a half when it could have it could have been ten minutes. <laughs>